All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee and... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, come back, kid. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat. Huge liver kick! That might do it! All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks, to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into race and even start to think about striking. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Now connects with a right. Blocks that strike. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Dividend. 
lands as he counters with a punch. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And they separate. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. That shot blocked by Lee. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He loaded up on that right hand too. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Final seconds of round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good stuff for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Got clip with the right hand. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's gonna be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Single collar tie now. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Beautiful body right under the elbow. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. 
Uh, nice job to land the knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Look at him drive his shit. What a round. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Continuing to work the body to great effect. Straight punch lands. Oh, huge spinning kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well in again. Oh, the kickboxing chops. Oh, the old man, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. in a single collar tie. Hands high, hands high. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the jump. Over the top of this fight's gonna be over. What a great play. He's out. He got him. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.